All right, so why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Perhaps you'd like to rephrase that or die. I'm meant. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. A chanter says what? What? Oh, you got him to speak. Got him. <laughs> There's always hope. Muster your courage, sir. You're right. <laughs> they won't bother you again, because I killed them. All of them? By yourself? Well, there's lots of prayer going on in here. Well, there it is. Lothering. Pretty as a painting. Ah, so you have finally decided to rejoin us, have you? Falling on your blade in grief seemed like too much trouble, I take it. Is my being upset so hard to understand? Have you never lost someone important to you? Just what would you do if your mother died? Before or after I stopped laughing. Right, very <laughs> creepy. Forget I asked. <laughs> uh, what did you want to talk about, Alistair? His navel, I suspect. He certainly has been contemplating it for long enough. Oh, looking down. I get it. This is the part where we're shocked to discover how you've never had a friend your entire life. I can be friendly when I desire to. Alas, desiring to be more intelligent does not make me. Anyway, I thought we should <laughs> talk about where we intend to go first. Oh, so good. So good. Uh, okay. Um, so you have some thoughts on that point then, uh, Alistair? This should be good. I think what Flemeth suggested is the best idea. These treaties, have you looked at them? Um, what do you mean? The treaties, the ones we got from Flemeth. With these, we will be able to ask for assistance. Maybe even raise an army. There are three main groups that we have treaties for. The Dalish Elves, the Dwarves of Orzammar, and the Circle of Magi. I also still think that Arleman is our best bet for help. We might even want to go to him first. Okay, so is there a way to contact other Grey Wardens? Short of leaving Ferelden to seek them out, the only place to send word to would be Weisalpt Fortress. And that's thousands of miles away. So, no. What do you think we should do, Morrigan? Go after your enemy directly. Find this man Loghain and kill him. The rest of this business with the treaties can then be done in safety. <laughs> yes, he certainly wouldn't see that coming. And it's not like he has the advantage of an army and experience and... I was asked for my opinion and I gave it. If your wish is to come up with reasons why something cannot be done, we will stand here until the Darkspawn are upon us. <laughs> uh. All right, so why are you leaving it up to me? Well, I don't know where we should go. I'll do whatever you decide. Now that is unsurprising. Arleman is a good man, but I don't know for sure he's where we should go. I'm not going to fight about it. Okay, well, then we need to find these people. I can give you directions, if you like. Oh, jeez. All right, well, so where do we find our Lehman, since you love him so much? He'll be at the Castle Redcliffe, in the far western part of Ferelden, next to the mountain passes. If he isn't there, someone will be able to tell us where he is. Okay, where will we find the Daily Shelves? If we head eastward, towards the Brazilian forest, we should hear word of one of the clans that wanders that area. Hopefully, they will still be there. And where do we find the dwarves? We would need to speak to their king in Orzammar. That means heading west into the Frostback Mountains, which won't be easy. Okay, won't the Circle of Magi do what the Chantry says? Technically, the Circle of Magi is independent. We don't sure. know that the Chantry won't support us, of course. <laughs> you truly believe that? If we speak to the first Enchanter, he should see that his responsibility to the Grey Wardens supersedes anything the Chantry or even Tan Gain might have to say about it. Yeah, okay, cool. So where would Loghain be exactly? If he isn't out in the field with his army, he's probably going to be at the palace in Denerim. We can go to Denerim, but somehow I suspect that they're not going to let us just walk around. Only a suspicion, of course. All right, I don't need any more directions then. Then you have a plan. Sort of. Let's get going. Fair enough. Let's head into the village whenever you're ready.
Groovy. What have we got? We need to sell some crap. Well, maybe we'll suss out the village. I'm guessing there's going to be a bit of dialogue for us to get us to get through now. A lot of refugees here. So let's we talk about your mother. Coin to pay the toll to those I'd bandits. rather talk about your Many mother. Didn't. Well, there's nothing to talk about. And besides, isn't your mother a scary witch who lives in the middle of a forest? Much more. To you, perhaps. You would find the moss growing upon a stone interesting. You know what's <laughs> more interesting than that? Apostates, mages outside of the tower. That's illegal, you know. You did not read that in a book somewhere, did you? I hope the small letters did not strain you over much. Oh, we could not talk about your mother. That works for me. I'm scared. When are we going home? I don't know, kid. Not anytime soon. Oh my god, refugees everywhere. I'm scared. When are we going home? I don't think we're going to find anything in these busted crates. Couldn't take from the refugees anyway. Um, alright, so you guys aren't going to say anything interesting. Sorry for the Kunari locked in that cage. It won't be able to Ooh, there's a Kunari here. I remember. Farmer, why are you standing here randomly? You don't look like the other folk fleeing the south. Were you in the battle? What makes you think that? You don't look chastened, so you're not from the wilds. And you're not a farmer. I'd guess you saw some fighting. Well, yes, so I am a Grey Warden. Then you'd best clear out. We're loyal to the king here, and word from the north is the wardens Ooh. betrayed King Caelan. Tern Loghain has a bounty on any who survived. Tern Loghain betrayed the king, not us. Tern Loghain? Betray Merrick's boy? Bleh, your story needs a bit of work. <laughs> perhaps you'd like to me <laughs> perhaps you'd like to rephrase that or die. I meant that's quite a story. Tern Loghain killed the king? Mercy, terrible business that. I have some questions. Can't promise I'm going to answer them. Okay, well, what's going on here? What isn't? We got chastened barbarians in every farmholder south of Kalanhard running from the Darkspawn. Not that they'll be safe here with the army gone. Who's in charge of the village? You could talk to the Elder, though she's got her hands full getting everyone on their way. For now, most folks go to Sir Bryant. He's head of the Chantry's Templars. Oh, lovely. Don't you have a ruling lord? He's gone to war and taken all his soldiers, leaving us to fend for yeah. ourselves. There's right. not going to be much left when he returns. If he returns. Okay, were those bandits always outside the village? Were? You mean they're gone? Uh, yeah, uh, I uh, I drove them off. Well, goody for you. Now there's no one to drive off the blighted refugees. Sir Brian's will be glad, though. He's been talking about offering a reward for anyone who'd run them out. Cool. I should go. Don't let me stop you. I want to get that reward. Let's just check what's going on over here. I brought my family to Lothring because I thought it would be safe. I heard those bandits are back again. Why don't the Templars kill them? Don't worry, lady. I did. What happened to the king is so terrible. Is anywhere safe now? I'm not sure, but I'm working on it. Refugee boy. I'm scared. When are okay. we going home? You there. If you're looking for safe shelter, I'll warn you, there's none to be found. Is that right, Sir Templar? Move on if you can. Lothering's lost. What do you mean? We've had refugees streaming from the south for the last two days. The Chantry and Tavern are full to bursting. There simply isn't enough food to go around, and we Templars can barely keep order. You'll be better off elsewhere, my friend. <sighs> are you keeping me from going in? Just warning you, things may not be as hospitable as you would expect. People are frightened. Okay, duly noted. Is anyone in charge here? The ban has marched north with Terran Loghain, so Lothering's on its own. Most folks look to Elder Miriam. Otherwise, you could speak to Sir Bryant in the Chantry, I suppose. It's up to you. Oh, we'll do a little bit of column A, a little bit of column B. As if we needed more fighting here. Don't you see how scared everyone is? Yeah, well, I'll protect people. Oh, Shut look up. How they moan and wail and gnash their teeth. It is sad to watch how helplessly they scurry about. It's just a guess, but I'm thinking everyone in Lothering is aware of the approaching Darkspawn horde. Well, that's going to be rather worrying for I'm them all. Cold. 
I don't like this. Oh, don't like this? What happened to you lot? Greetings to you, good sir. Oh, elves. If it isn't too much to ask, might you spare some bread or... or anything? What happened to you? We thought it would be safer in Lothering, that the Terran would bring his soldiers here. But bandits attacked us and took everything. Our food, our clothes, my daughter's pet lamb. Nobody cares oh. about it. Can you help us? Oh, well, I met those bandits. They're dead now. You killed them? That's mm -hmm. wonderful news. Perhaps our belongings are still there. I can't thank you enough, friend. Even if we don't get everything back, it's... It's good to know others will be safe. I'm okay, cold. good luck. I don't like this. I'm cold. I don't like this. Who's saying it? Is that you? Have you seen my mother? Oh dear. That depends. Who is your mother? She's really tall. And she has red hair. We live on a big farm hold, all of us. Some mean men with swords came. And mother told me to run to the village as fast as I could. So I did. She said she'd be right behind me. But I've been waiting and waiting and I can't see her. Okay, that's not good. Do you know where your father is? He went with William to the neighbours yet, but he didn't come back. That can't be good. All right, come with me. I'll help you look for your mother. Mother said I wasn't to go with anyone. I'm supposed to wait for her here, in the village. Okay, go to the Chantry. Someone will look after you. Or do I give him some silver? Yeah, take this silver. Buy something to eat. You're a really nice man, kind of like father. I should go look for mother now. Okay. So we couldn't help him much more. Not full inventory. Where's a merchant? We need to find a merchant. Who's this guy? Sir Gilmore. Good day, travelers. What can I do for you? Who are you? My name is Sir Roland Gilmore. I'm a knight of High Ever. I arrived here not long ago following the army. Is there anything I can do for you? You don't look like a normal soldier. In fact, I am not. I am, was, a knight in Kuslin Castle. I was about to join the Grey Wardens in their battle against the Blight, but I was left behind to defend my lord in battle. Kuslin Castle fell. The lord and his family were slain, and I was captured. This guy, I think, is actually a mod. I think he's a follower mod that I put on. <sighs> In the human noble start, um, I think he's one of your friends. Um, okay, so Kuslin Castle fell, and Lord and his family were slain, and was and you were captured. That sounds pretty awful. It was, but I was able to escape. I made my way to Ostagar to find it in ruins. Duncan, the man that was supposed to lead me, was dead. So was the king, and the Grey Wardens outlawed. Well, Duncan was our leader. I am Shade, and we are the Grey Wardens. By the Maker. Is this true? If so, I'm at your service. I was to become a warden to fight against the Blight, and if your plan has not changed, then I would like to put my sword at your service. Well, swords are always welcome. Then just let me pack my things. By the way, please call me Roland, if you will. Ooh, so I've got to drop someone off for the moment. Let's drop off uh, Doggo. And in next stream, I'll put the mod on that lets me have Doggo and a full party. Of course. Except. Yeah, so you would have never got this dude, because I think he is a mod that someone's created to bring Sir Gilmore from the human noble origin uh, to be a permanent follower. Apparently it's meant to be pretty good, so we'll give him a go for a bit. He needs to be leveled up, though. You're a warrior. All right, we'll, we'll level up another day. We'll leave that for the moment. And no, you didn't miss anything. I'm pretty sure he's from a mod. Um, apparently, Back oh. off. I have the right to charge what I wish. You profit from their misfortune. I should have the Templars give away everything in your carts. You wouldn't dare. Any of you step too close to my goods and I'll... It's so nice to see everyone working together in a crisis. Warms the heart. Oh... <laughs> You there. Love Alistair. You look able. Would you care to make a tiny profit helping a beleaguered businessman? Okay. Is your profiteering ruffling some feathers? You could say that, yes. The nerve of these people! 
He is charging outlandish prices for things people desperately need. Their blood is filling his pockets. His only survival of the fittest. All of these Cretans would do the same in his shoes, given the chance. I have limited supplies. The people decide what those supplies are worth to them. You bought most of your wares from these very people last week. Now they flee for their lives, and you want to talk business? Look, stranger, I have a hundred silvers if you drive this rabble off, starting with that priest. I'm an honest merchant, nothing more. <laughs> oh, I can't do that. I cannot do that. You don't think you're being unscrupulous? Would it help these folks if they could buy no goods at all? They spend their very last coin because they are desperate. And this man preys upon them as surely as the bandits outside the city. Ah, I'm not arguing anymore. Drive off this woman and get your hundred silvers. Otherwise, I'm taking my wagon and leaving. Yeah, I think you can compromise and still make a profit though, right? Perhaps. If that woman agrees, I'm allowed to charge something. Do what you must. So long as the prices do not... Fine, fine, done. And since you don't look too needy, normal prices for you. So, we have come to solve every squabble in the village personally. Hmm? My, but the Darkspawn will be impressed. Thank you for your generous assistance. May the Maker watch over your path. Yeah, a hundred silver's not a lot either, is it? <laughs> 100 silver to be a complete dick to the locals. Nope. Alright, merchant man. I need to clear a few things out of my inventory. Oh, but first, I need to double check. What does Roland have? Does he have anything we need to equip on him? He's got a shield. Um, He's actually relatively well geared. So we don't need to switch any of his stuff. Excellent. Merchant man. I suppose you're looking to buy something. I am indeed. Let's see what you have. All right. Just don't buy everything up. I'm paying extra. Why wouldn't you want me to buy everything up? I want to... Crafting other. So this is where the backpack upgrades can be found, is it? But unfortunately, he does not have any. Okay, so let's get rid of... Um, stuff that we don't need. Keep that, get rid of those. I won't do too much now because it's pretty boring to watch someone do inventory management. I'll just get rid of a few things. That acolyte stuff, get rid of that. We just need to clear enough space. With that, we're keeping our... Double check, we haven't sold anything too critical, nope. Keep our Blood Dragon plate, because that's from a DLC, and we're going to wield it, because it's tough and it looks awesome. So we'll hold on to that. I'll get rid of the old shitty shield. Get rid of that. Um, I think there's a couple of crap rings. Yep, get rid of them. They all take up a slot. That's no good to us. That's no good to us. Sell the gems. Ooh, this is a gift. And be all right so we can give that to someone and we can give that to someone as well all right so you build up your relationship with all of your party members and one way to speed that up is to give them gifts what happens if we yep we can get away with trying to bust this open it'll take five minutes of there we go <laughs> okay cool um What's happening over here? The chance we were still operating their board. We had a coin to pay the toll to those How bandits. Oh, that's dedication. Oh, Too many conversations. Boards. Let us run errands for the betterment of mankind as well as a few coppers. And Eileen spoke unto the masses. My hearth is yours. My bread is yours. My life is yours. For all who walk in the sight of the Maker are one. Okay, and who are you exactly? You don't talk much, do you? Let all repeat the chant of light. Only the word dispels the darkness upon us. He can't answer you. He's Chanter Devons. So what's a chanter? One of them that can only say the chant of light. His board has letters of good deeds to be doing. My father fixed Widow Allison's roof ones, and the charter paid him, he did. 
A learned child is a blessing upon his parents and onto the maker. Okay, so if I want to thatch a roof, I can talk to him? There's all sorts of things on his board. Even travelling swords sometimes turn in postings. Oh, side quests, you say. <laughs> side quests and errands. Uh, so this guy really can't speak at all? Unless it's the chant of light? No. And so Rajmael in the heathen temple recanted. Speak only the word, sing only the chant. Then the golden city is thine, spoke Andraste. Ooh, well the maker is a righteous ass. Anything you want to say to that? Sometimes we throw pebbles at him. Doesn't work either. <laughs> a chanter says what? What? Oh, you got him, got him to speak. Got him. <laughs> what hath man's sin wrought? Oh, uh, he cheated. Nice recovery. <laughs> All right, is there anything of interest on this board? Blessed are the peacekeepers, champions of the just. All right, so this is where we can pick up little side gigs, I take it. So these, if they're just pointless little things, I might do them in between stream and turn them in. Bandits, bandits, bandits everywhere. On behalf of Sir Bryant. Okay, get a whole bunch of bandits killed. Except, where is this Sir Bryant? We want to get our reward. Put it there? Oh, who the hell is Allison? Let's explore the town. We want to go to this Chantry, which that looks like it could be it. That looks very Chantry-ish. I'm on your doorstep. They will feast upon our hearts. There is nowhere to run. This down. evil will cover the world like a plague of locusts. Dude, dude, calm down. Yes, you're scaring the children. Push. Yes. Better to slit their throats now than let them oh. suffer at dark spawn hands. No. There. One of their minions is already amongst us. This man bears their evil stench. Can you not see the vile blackness that fills him? Okay, why don't you keep your voice down? I watch the Black Horde descend on my people. I will not be silent. Please stop. Somebody shut his mouth. But isn't he right? The ban left us. We're going to die. This minion is but the first of those who will destroy us! Okay, that's enough. This, or oh, hang on. Let's try and be compassionate first, I suppose. You poor man. What happened to you? My family. My clan. Those creatures butchered them all. Some of us fled here. But we cannot escape the Darkspawn! Don't be a fool. The Darkspawn can be defeated. No, I have seen them. You cannot run. You cannot run. Dude, shush. Well, standing around and shouting isn't going to save you either. There is nothing to do. No hope is left. Hmm. I think you underestimate our resources, such as magic. Are you calling me a coward? I'm calling you an idiot. Listen to yourself for a moment. I... I have shamed my ancestors. There we go. But the blackness will come. Oh, he still ran away. He was right, wasn't he? There's no hope for us. There's always hope. Muster your courage, sir. You're right. We can't give up. But we can't fight. What are we supposed to do? We can't lie down and die either. We must go north to Denerim. Probably not a bad idea. Right, so... Mission accomplished there. Isla Sachs. Maybe with that blasted chasing gone, my headache will go as well. Jeez. We were lucky. We had the coin to pay the toll to those bandits. Many. Oh, did. we fixed him. Who's this guy? Some Maru. You seek refuge in the chantry. There's simply no room left. You're closed? We turn none aside, but we simply don't have room for anyone to sleep. Priests are within if you seek to offer devotion to the Maker, however, you protect us all. Alright, uh, who are we talking to? Uh, who's in charge of this Chantry? The Revered Mother runs the Chantry itself, and Sir Bryant heads the Templar Station. Uh, did you know there were bandits on the highway? Were? Did you drive them off? Oh well, yeah. Sir Bryant will appreciate that. Oh yeah, we did. Have you heard any other news? Not since Terran Loghain passed by with his army. It's a shame about the King. But with the Darkspawn coming, few can think of anything else. Okay, goodbye. Make her watch over you. Oh yes, make her, make her, make her.
Go inside. Ooh. What have we got in here? Bees, a farmer. Darkspawn stragglers, but no sign of the main horde. We are the only hope of protection this village has now, and I will not abandon them. That is all. Big temple? So, Bryant. Yes? Who might you be? You can call me Shade. I am Sir Bryant, commander of Lothering's remaining Templars. You don't seem like the other refugees. Are you one of Arl Eamon's knights? Uh, do many of his knights come here? Some have in recent days. Arl Eamon has fallen ill, and his knights are on a quest for the sacred urn filled with Andraste's ashes, said to cure any malady. He must be very ill if they chase miracles as the only cure. One of the Arl's knights, <laughs> Sir Donal, is here searching for fantasies while... Never mind. Ask him if you care about this foolishness. Okay, well, about those... Um, okay, no. Things seem very dire in the village. They are. With the ban having taken his men north, the village is left to its fate. We will evacuate as many as we can before the Horde reaches us. I will stay as long as I am needed. Now, unless there's something else you need... About those bandits outside the village. Maker's breath, how many times must we drive them off? Uh, well, they won't They won't bother you again, as I killed them. All of them? By yourself? It's true. I saw it from my post. It was over so fast, we didn't even have time to get over there. Sad that it needed to come to that. Yeah. But then they asked for it. They did. Would you accept a small reward for your service? I could keep an eye out for trouble, for the right pay. I wish I could afford such help, to be truthful. Take your reward, at any rate. It is all I have to offer. If it interests you, there is a chanter's board outside, full of yes, quests we've that seen that. doing. Yep. The chanters even offer pay for some of them. Now, unless there's something else you need. Uh, I need some information. If the matter is important, certainly. Are you in charge here? The revered mother leads this flock. I merely command her Templars. Normally, our role is to protect the Chantry and seek out unsanctioned magic. For now, it is all we can do to protect the innocent. Oh, wow. And so you do know that I am a mage? As am I. Oh, I have no time to even think about such things right now. <laughs> My concern is protecting these people. I see nothing threatening them other than the Darkspawn. Good. How do the Templars fight against magic anyway? We have more than swords at our disposal. We're taught to dispel unholy magics as well. If only our powers work to keep away the Darkspawn. Alas, it is not so. Okay, so are uh, you the only protection this village has? Our ban was summoned by Tan Loghain and he took his soldiers north with him. Lothering has been abandoned. Okay, but they are actually fighting to try and protect the village as well though, by going north. Or are they retreating north? Mm, so maybe they are abandoning him. Okay, where will I find this revered mother? In her study, no doubt. Preparing what she will take when we eventually evacuate. Alright, tell me about something else. If the matter is important, certainly. Have you heard any other recent news? Other than the Darkspawn Horde bearing down on us? None of it is good. Teon Loghain is set to declare himself king, I hear. Disaster piled on disaster. So King Caelan had no heir, <coughs> no heir to the throne? None that we know of. Tern Loghain has no legitimate claim on the throne. He may be a hero and his daughter may be queen, but he is a commoner. And the king's corpse is barely cold. If Arl Eamon was able to intervene, perhaps it would not have gone this far. I do not care who takes the throne. Only fools fight over who owns a cottage while it burns down around them. I've got nothing left to ask. No. Unless there's something else you need. Hmm. Do we tell him we're a Grey Warden? We may as well. I'm hoping you can help me. You see, I'm a Grey Warden. I see. That is certainly worthy of notice. Tan Loghain declared all Grey Wardens traitors responsible for the King's death. Hmm. You know this, I hope. So I heard. I've heard the rumours. I don't believe the Grey Wardens would be as careless or malicious as the Tan claims. But either way, there it is. It is best you not linger, though, just in case. <laughs> yeah, is there any other help that you can offer? I cannot openly help you, I fear, but here, take this key. It opens the large cabinet on the far wall. There is more mm. there than we can carry when we evacuate, so take what you need. Excellent. Thank you very much. I should go.
Travel safely, and may the Maker watch over you. <laughs> right. So we'll go to the cabinet. Oh yeah, I see it. I see when it. The Maker spoke. Chant of light scattered in the darkness. The word. Okay, we got some boots, and that's about it. Delivered. But those who have wonder sinned, if that's an accurate likeness of Andraste. Maybe she was ugly. Maybe she had buck teeth. Let it rise at last to the know? ears of the Maker. Mm. Praying for help from a prophet they burned, and a god who has turned his back on them not once, but twice. Then shall the Maker return to us. Oh, there's lots of prayer going on in here. To the...